Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video, I've been so excited for this shoe to drop and I'm so happy to get my hands on it. Today's video, we have the Nike Air Max Scorpion in the colorway Lemon Wash. I've been so excited for today's video because I feel like I have a lot of information to share about these shoes and the boxing as well. Also, disclaimer, I am a massive Vapormax fan. Before we start today's video, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with all my latest videos and check out my previous sneak up videos. Okay, so let's talk about boxing. So obviously when you order a pair of Nike shoes, you get two boxes, you get the brown cardboard box, which is what the packaging is, where they put your label on to send it, and then you open the box, and then of course you get your shoe box. So, this is the shoe box and it literally looks like the brown cardboard box there's literally nothing on it at all apart from a label here which says you know what shoe you got the colorway and all that jazz then on one side of it as you can see we have the kind of cardboard pull piece bit which you usually get on the packaging box so i was a bit confused because i was like this literally looks like a packaging box but i noticed there was this kind of pull out here so i did pull them out and here we go, but let me just open the full thing for you. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. Here it says, we're working to ditch the double box and ship shoes in a single shoe box made with at least 90% recycled material. So what they're getting at guys is this, your shoes are gonna be in here. They're gonna put the box like this, they're gonna package it. And this is how you're gonna receive your shoes in one box. Now, I completely understand, you know, recycling, sustainability, it's good for the environment, completely get that. But on the other hand, when you receive your shoes, you're not gonna get a shoe box really because more time when I get my packaging, the box is battered, the box has got like damage on it, it's got the label on it, even when I pull the label off, obviously it's gonna kind of ruin the cardboard box. Personally for me, I absolutely love getting a shoe box. I feel like that's what kind of makes the whole experience for me. It's obviously you're not only getting the shoe and usually with Nike as well, they do some pretty cool shoe boxes, but obviously if you're just getting this, there's really nothing to it. So for me in my situation, I probably end up throwing this away because it's just kind of a standard cardboard box. Like I don't understand why I would keep this. Um, whereas all my shoes, I actually keep the shoe boxes because I just like having them and when I'm not wearing them before I need to store them I just like putting them back in their shoe box I just feel like it's a nice touch but obviously this this is gonna change the game and I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about it am I the only one that's being precious over shoe boxes but I do feel like there's a lot of people that do appreciate the shoe boxes as well so obviously if you did want to return them then you would kind of strip these labels off and then repackage it and just send it back off but guys I forgot all about the shoe box when I saw these so today's review we have the Nike Air Max scorpions in the lemon wash colorway if we just take a moment to have a look at how beastie these shoes are so before we get into the details of the shoe the air max scorpion is among the first nike footwear created entirely during the pandemic with nike designers it took them 18 months which they actually stated is a condensed development timeline they used a lot of kind of new technology within this shoe and as you can see the midsole is absolutely huge this is definitely one of the shoes that offers the most air in the midsole. I'm just so so excited about this trainer because I feel like for me it just represents Nike's innovation and kind of the future of Nike and where it is heading to. Now, if we take a look into the finer details of this shoe, first of all, let's just pretend there's no kind of midsole bubble unit, this giant thing here. If we pretend it's not here, we basically have a Vapormax silhouette. As I have mentioned before, the Vapormax silhouette is one of my favorite silhouettes. For me, I just feel like it looks so clean, so smooth looking. So just like a Vapormax as well, we have the fly knit material on the upper, we have this woven material. However, this feels a lot more premium, a lot better quality. And then you will notice we do have a second material at the top next to the loopholes and near the ankle of the shoe and we have this super super soft chenille material it feels absolutely amazing we have not seen this before but it goes so well with the knitted material on the upper as well both of these we have this in the lemon wash color which is this kind of very mellow yellow a very faint yellow i would almost say beige a very light beige but it's more yellow than kind of brown tones you will also notice that we do have this piece of fabric that kind of runs around the whole of the shoe on the front this is in a more of a white color 
color. Kind of acts like a little bit of a mud guard against the rubber as well. This is more in a kind of felt material as well. So we do have another material on the upper of the shoe, but it kind of fits in really nicely. If we do take a look at branding of the shoe, this is probably one of my favorite parts. As you can see, we do have the woven kind of stitched in Nike swoosh in the black. Also at the front of the shoe, you will also notice that there is a small little rubber Nike logo. Now moving on to the front of the shoe, I absolutely love this part of the shoe as well. I just can't get enough. So as you can see, we have the chenille, which kind of runs on the upper, um, but it also feeds into the tongue as well. So the tongue on top is made of this chenille material. Usually we kind of just have the material sitting on top of it, but actually the whole thing kind of feels like this chenille material. And then you will notice at the top, we do have an Air Max logo as well. Um, it's kind of dotted in again with this kind of rubber material. For laces, we have some different laces, which I've not seen before. We have this kind of very, very soft fabric laces. They are very, very lightweight. And again, we have this in the lemon wash color. So it kind of just all merges in together, which is absolutely beautiful. Moving around to the back of the shoe, we actually have an actual lemon color little tag here. And as you can see, it has Nike again in the same kind of logo and style as the Air Max logo on the front of the tongue. Now let's talk about the main star of the shoe, why we are really here. And we are here for this huge, huge midsole air unit. So for me, it's kind of like divided in two pieces. We kind of have the first section here, which I guess is very similar to kind of standard normal Nike Air Vapor Max. But then we have this bottom bit here as well, which is just ginormous. First of all, let's talk about logos. As you can see on the back, we have the Nike swoosh. They're kind of engraved into the rubber, so they are quite hard to see. And then on the inner sides of the shoe, we do also have the Air Max logo. This is even harder to see, but it is there. Bottom part of the sole is definitely more transparent than the upper part, but as you can see through the holes, you can kind of see the sole of the first part of the shoe. This is in more of a vibrant yellow. However, even though it is more vibrant, you can't actually see a lot of it. But one part I do love, if you turn the shoe to its side, you can actually see the yellow peeping through on the sole. One of the most cool things that I found out when I was researching the shoe is, you know, the air unit is specifically designed to be this way. It's strategically placed to where your foot is actually placed on the air unit, of course, to make the most comfortable experience for the customer. trying them on I was so pleasantly surprised now for me the Nike Air Vapor Maxes aren't the most comfiest shoes I feel like they're very comfortable for maybe like an hour's wear but long term they start to hurt my feet if I wear them to the gym I feel like I can feel the soles like digging into my foot this however is a completely different experience to the Nike Air Vapor Max firstly they are super super comfortable and I feel so much more stable in the shoe when I wear the Vapor Max I can kind of feel like my foot slipping to the sides I feel like my foot can easily slip slip over the air unit, if that makes sense. Whereas this just provides so much more stability. My foot feels firm in it. And I feel like I could wear these for a very long time without them hurting my foot at all. In terms of sizing, I found that these fit true to size. So if you are looking at getting these, I would recommend sticking to your normal size. Now guys, the one thing that I absolutely hate about this shoe is that they come in at 225 pounds, which is about 250 US dollars. It is a very, very expensive shoe considering it's kind of a general release. It's not limited edition. You don't have to enter any special raffles to get it. You can literally just buy them off the Nike website. So for a price tag of 225 pounds, it does it does break my heart a little bit. The only concern that I have for these shoes kind of stems from the Nike Air Vapor Maxes that I have, the Prime Knit. I start to get holes in them, especially around the front area after I've worn them for a long amount of time. Um, and for me to get holes in these after paying 225 pounds, even if it's been two years, I just don't expect to get holes. But I do have to say this material feels a lot thicker and a lot more durable. So overall, this is a huge, huge cop for me. I'm absolutely, utterly in love with them. They are, for me, just so beautiful. I feel like they're giving off that kind of fashion vibe mixed with the kind of sport vibe. Um, and that aesthetic I really, really like. There are actually more colorways coming out, which I'm really, really excited about. There is a black colorway, a triple black colorway, which I feel like will be amazing. There's also a wheat colorway, and then there's also another black colorway. And it looks like it's got a purple midsole air unit as well. I'm really, really interested in getting those. And then as you can see, there is also a gray colorway as well. So if you are still undecided, maybe another colorway will change your mind. Let me know in the comments below what you are saying about today's cop. I feel like this might be another hate it or love it situation, but let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.